Well, you look great today. Thanks. Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for hanging out with me. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to see you guys. I am still sick. Well, I'm not still sick. I'm just filming five videos with basically the same outfit and everything in the same day. So I'm going to be sick in several videos, but it's not like it's lasting like that that long. But today I have my Ipsy box. This is the Ipsy Plus. I do subscribe to all three. This Ipsy Plus is $25 a month. I also get the Ipsy Glam Bag, the regular bag, which is $12. And then I'll subscribe to the Ultimate, which is the $50 a month. This is the only one that's come. I didn't even get shipping notifications for the other ones yet. The size of the boxes do change, at least it appears to me on the regular, which I guess I really don't care. It's just, it's funny. It just, it's like, you know, you never know what you're going to get every month. Tell me if anyone else is here, is here? You know, you're here, obviously. You're not here, but you're there. You know what I mean. It's so funny. Lately, I've been having to choose between hair and makeup. I don't have the time to do both, so I'm always going to choose the makeup over the hair. That's just the way I am. I just think it's so funny. It's like you sit there and you go, do I have time to do my hair and my makeup? No. Um, okay, just the makeup. Yeah, that's how it is. So let's get into this box and see what I got. I really don't do spoilers. The only spoilers I did this month is for BoxyCharm, which that's another video and we'll get into that another time. So you're supposed to get five full-size products. We always get five full-size products. $25, which means the item are five dollars a piece which you know is not a bad deal oh no did they do it again to me gosh darn it i didn't get the card that has the items listed on it this is like i don't know how many times there's like two cards and sometimes forget to put them in them so this one doesn't have my items so i'm gonna have to guess and look it up myself oh that's so annoying it says will you be our valentine well you look great today Thanks. That shade, it's perfect on you. We wanted to let you know that you've been doing a killer job. We get that life isn't always easy. No, it's not. And liquid eyeliner is so hard, but you totally got this. And just in case you need to hear it, we love you so very much. So give yourself a big hug and let's keep in touch, okay? TTYL, like talk to you later. XOXO Ipsy. So I'm a little mad at you, Ipsy, because I would literally like, I can't speak, but I would really like my card on what the heck I'm going to get in my darn box. And they tell you that choice day is going to be on the 24th of this month. So let's just see what I got. I have a tube here, and this looks interesting. This is... Oh, from Wander Beauty, Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation. Super cool. And it's in the color light. I'm hoping it's a good color. If not, of course, I can add a mixing medium into it. I like the tube. I think it's very cool. Now, is it a doe foot or does it have a pump? Oh, look at that. Okay, it's got a doe foot. It's got a big old doe foot. <laughs> And look at the tip. The tip is angled, and it seems to almost have a well in it that is collecting the foundation in there. Yeah, it's, oh, oh, um, it just spilled over everything in my box. It's extremely liquidy. Let's see how this color is going to look. Okay, I don't think it's going to be bad, um, except that I said it spilled all over everything. So let me just take what's in here out of the box because I got the foundation all over it. This looks like a blush palette. Gosh darn it. Oh, this is from Lovecraft Beauty. I received a single blush from Lovecraft Beauty not too long ago. And... Many of you told me that you had this full-size palette and you really liked it. That was the first time I had ever tried it. Oh, okay. Is this an all blush palette? Yes, it says a blush palette, but this uh, Dauphine looks to me like it could almost be a bronzer. My dad's watching Magnum P.I. at the moment. So this is the palette. They look like all matte blushes, which I do like. Sometimes I really don't want to deal with shimmer. They feel very, very smooth. So we have Alcida, Dauphine, and Oscalia. Honestly, they went on extremely, extremely lightly. And I don't think any of these would be good for a deeper skin tone. 
So I'm hoping maybe they have another palette that I, they provided for someone with a deeper skin tone because I don't think these are going to show up. They feel very smooth. They are very, very lightly pigmented, which I said, sometimes I do enjoy. You don't want to have to, you know, blend out blush till heaven, but it's not so bad having to build it up. We'll see. I said, because I really can't remember what I thought about the other blush. I think I liked it, um, but I do try a lot of makeup, so not everything sticks in my brain. So the next thing I'm picking up is from Murad. It is the Environmental Shield Essential C Day Moisture Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Brightens and helps shield skin from environmental aggressors. I do enjoy a lot of Murad products, not all of them, but I really do enjoy a moisturizer that has an SPF. In case I don't want to go through my whole routine, but I do want to include the SPF, I like that. From what I can see in the first several ingredients, it doesn't have anything miraculous as far as anti-aging. I think it is just in a, in a moisturizer that has... Some nice moisturizing ingredients that acetyl alcohol, which is a fatty acid. I said nothing like that's going to make you look 20 years younger, but it is good skin protection, and that is your biggest effort to make your skin look 20 years younger. Let me wipe the foundation off of this box. And oh, this is from Dominique Cosmetics, and it is the Sweater Weather Palette. The packaging is very cute. It does look like a sweater. It's a cable knit sweater. It does show you the colors on the back and it is textured so it feel it does obviously it's not soft Wouldn't it be cool if it did feel like a sweater it was made of sweater material? But it's textured and it's nice I don't think this palette did very well on the market as far as I remember since I haven't tried it I'm happy that I received it. Okay. It looks to me like it's mace basically <laughs> It's basically an all matte palette and this, although it looks very blue, it's actually a purple color, a grapey purple. Let me just watch these and show you. Okay, some of these names are absolutely adorable. And they all had quite a different feel to them. As I went into each shadow, they each had a different texture. The first one is called Sweater Weather and is a very, very pretty taupe. It looks to, like, it looks to me like it has a slightly purpley undertone which is typical of taupe. The next one, you can barely see it because it really is so light. It's called Fuzzy. Was it made for me? Okay, just put a little bit more on. It has a similar texture to the sweater weather, but they are like very chalky, like they have a lot of fallout. I'll get to that also in a minute. Then the next one is Toasty, which is this beautiful brown. It's just a wonderful color. Also fairly smooth, but very, very powdery. This pinky purple here is called Cuddle. Soft feeling, but again, that same thing. And I did miss one shadow. I missed that purple, which at first swipe feels very, very dry but yet it goes on quite pigmented. But you can see it, it has that slightly chalky appearance, yet it's pigmented. I can't judge because I have to put them on my eyes to really tell. And the last one was super, super dry and super chalky. It's called Messy Bun. It's a deep, deep purple and almost blackened purple. I do like the color story and I cannot wait to try it. I am again going to do my all three Ipsy bag try-ons. Did that make any sense? Probably not. Okay, the last item, and then I'll show you what the bag is. I should have shown you it first, but it was on the bottom, is um, from Il Maquillage, and it is their ink liner. Didn't I just receive this in something else? I think I did. I don't. I have too many of them open right now, so I do not want to try this, especially if I have another one. It's so lightweight. It's like you can almost throw it across the room. I think Il Maquillage products are quite highly priced so we'll see but the bag is very cute this month it is a pink pebbled vinyl metallic -y, and inside is a gorgeous dark maroon purple the zipper is purple and then it, the bag looks much lighter on camera than it does in here and this is very nicely like a label sewn on here normally it's not this cute and adorable and like nicely done because this is like a vinyl it's a very cute bag. I got foundation on it also. I am very mad that they did not put the card in there, but I'm going to go onto the website and look it up. Man, they keep getting me to try to sign up for the year because they're offering a free 
month if you sign up for the whole year and a free uh, Wi-Fi Wi-Fi palette, <laughs> the Morphe Hi-Fi palette, which I already received. All right, let's see here. Just realized something. This is my plus bag. And isn't this a very small bag for the plus bag? Wouldn't you think that this is the size of the regular bag, in my opinion? It does look like it's correct according to what I see on here, but I just found that interesting. The Murad C Day Moisture Broad Spectrum SPF 30, yada yada. Also saying that it has ginkgo biloba leaf extract to shield the skin from environmental aggressors. They're saying that it's $65. Would I ever pay $65 for basically a sunscreen? Uh, heck to the no. But I didn't. I paid $5 for it. So that's more like it. Okay, so the next thing is the Lovecraft Beauty. Where the heck are you? This blush palette comes with three soft to the touch skin smoothing blush shades that blend effortlessly. I can't say it. So they're saying that Athleta is a taupey pink, Delphine is a terracotta. That's why I said it looked more like a bronzer to me, because this is not an accurate representation. It's much more bronzer, deeper colored um, than that. Doesn't mention the other one. Oh well. <laughs> but this is thirty nine dollars. I don't know how I feel about it. Again, it's an indie brand, so I kind of understand a little bit. But let me try the whole palette. I think I like the other one. I can't make a judgment. You know what I mean? It's, it's not fair of me to judge. So anyway, that's what the retail value of it is. Oh my goodness. I picked, <laughs> I picked this palette. Holy shnikes. How bad am I that I don't even remember what I have picked? Was I sleeping when I picked it? I don't know. I'm glad I picked it though. So the Domin Dominique Cosmetic Sweater Weather Palette says this palette proves that cozy neutrals aren't just a winter staple for your closet. They're a seasonal must in your makeup bag too. Six matte shades including cool taupe, I was right about that, pale pinks and mauves, warm rich, warm brown, rich lavender, and deep purple allow you to create endless looks. This is $29, not a bad price for a six pan eyeshadow palette. The only other one of her products that I have is what I received from BoxyCharm. I'm pretty sure it was BoxyCharm. It just is, I think it was. I'm pretty sure. But it's so funny how the same brands collab like with multiple boxes. So you'll wind up maybe sometimes getting some repeats. This one I'm so super excited to try. I cannot wait to do the try on. I may use it before the try on video because I'm a little impatient like that. But it's the Wonder Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation in the color Light. Multitasking liquid foundation for light complexions that improves the look of skin instantly and over time too. Hyaluronic acid to help your skin retain moisture and your makeup from settling into fine lines for a plump, dewy finish. Plant and fruit extracts give your skin a daily dose. Now, of course, it didn't come with a box. That's a whole another video I'm going to get into, but it offers medium to full coverage, and it's 40 bucks, which is, wow, how much are you getting in here? Even with my glasses on, I absolutely cannot read what the volume is. The only thing I have a problem with is because it's so liquidy, and it has a doe foot applicator, I can see when you pull this out, it's splotching everywhere. Like, you can't turn it over, and when you pull the doe foot applicator out, it kind of drips all over the place, as you can see. So that is my only concern. I think maybe this should have had a pump. If it was a little bit of a thicker consistency, that might have been better. Il Maquillage Ink Liner in Black. I'm so curious to see if I have this or not. It says it has an elongated and flexible felt tip that has a sharp point that makes creating lash hugging lines and dramatic flicks a piece of cake. They say that it is a waterproof formula that won't budge for up to 14 hours. There we go with those random numbers. It has a suggested retail price of $21. That is up there. It's one of the mid-range prices of brands for an eyeliner. I absolutely think the box is worth it. Again, $25, so you're paying $5 an item. I will use all of the items, so this box is absolutely valuable to me. I mean, even if, even if you just had these two products, these are absolutely worth $25. I mean, again, you have to break it down into something logical that makes sense for you. I think the bag should have been bigger. I don't think this is a plus size bag. 
the bags really don't thrill me. The only ones I really like are the big ones and the ultimate. So, I mean, this doesn't really affect me. If it didn't have foundation on it, I would put it in a giveaway, honestly. I know that there are a ton of variations with these boxes. So, if you do get the plus box, I'm going to be very curious to hear what you guys got. I can't wait to get my other boxes because I'm hoping already I have, you know, an eyeliner to try, even though I'll use something else. I have a blush palette. I have an eyeshadow palette, a foundation, a skincare product. I'm going to have enough products to do a nice try on with these boxes, which is why I get, enjoy getting all three of them. Just have to wait till I get all three of them to do it. Again, I want to hear your thoughts. I have to keep drinking this because I have more videos to film. <laughs> I love you guys so very much. You are the most amazing people on the world. I am so grateful for my family, my little family that I have here. It is so special to me. And I have to tell you guys, and I hope you know that that's how I feel all the time. I love you guys. And I really hope that you have an amazing day, an amazing rest of the week. I hope you are not sick like I am, and I hope you are well and all doing well. I know some of you are recovering, so to all of you who are still sickies, I hope you feel better. Okay, I'm going to shut up now. I will see you soon, my friends. Thank you so much. Bye.